the stats every minute this week. I'm doing my part, I'm paying attention, and I play my position. In this video, we're going to talk about Basecape, okay? This is a RuneScape um, server, a gaming server. Um, which you're going to be able to do multiple different things within this server. This is actually a migration from uh, Etherscape or the escape token on, on an Ethereum, which is going over to base chain. And this is actually launching today at 6 p.m. UTC or 7 p.m. UTC. Um, uh, 6 p.m. UTC. Okay, guys. So by the time you've seen this video, it could already be live. However, I do aim to get this out before it actually goes live. Um, but yeah, so basically they're going to be launching the escape token on base chain, which means cheaper fees and all that sort of stuff. Okay, guys. And there is also a 50% revenue share uh, from the revenue generated within this platform because all the revenue generated stays within the ecosystem, right? So, you know, we talked about Etherscape on the channel a little while back and um, that went absolutely crazy after, you know, um, you know, after, after it launched, right? And people made a lot of money on Etherscape. Um, so is there potential for these to make you some gains as well, especially in the immediate short term um, from the upside price action when it actually goes live? Um, you'll have to decide that. This is a sponsored video, okay? But the team are reliable, okay, guys? And of, of course, this is a migration once again from the Ethereum uh, platform. So there is already an existing um, holder base on this particular project, right? Not sure how all the tokenomics are going to work out, whether there's a vesting or anything like that, um, or whether like the previous people that migrated their tokens are just you know they just get their tokens all in one go. I'm not sure, but it could be an opportunity on base chain, which is why I'm bringing it to you today. Okay, guys. So um, if you're not familiar with uh, what RuneScape is, RuneScape is a huge uh, gaming platform. Many of you watching probably already know this. You know, I'm not too clued up on the whole you know gaming communities uh myself personally but when i looked into runescape um, i saw that it's actually bigger than minecraft okay and um yeah so that could be a good thing for this particular project the fact that it integrates runescape okay and um obviously that means that you know it's interactive right um with an in-game service interactive uh, there's actually a community uh, that you become a part of right and you can kind of link up and do multiplayer uh, sort of tasks and games and quests and all that sort of thing, right? They've got all sorts of different types of ways that you can generate revenue within the platform as well. And again, there's a 50% revenue share on the actual on, on the actual platform, which I believe is paid out in the escape tokens, if not Ethereum on base. Okay, guys. So you can actually join this server um right now as well so you could just go over connect your wallet and um you know get into the dap but again the token doesn't go live until 6 p.m utc and uh what i recommend you do is go and join them on social media because you know what these launches are like sometimes they're not on time it might be a little bit late um they're never early unfortunately but you know they might be a little bit late you just never know but what I recommend is you join the Twitter, join the Telegram, so you can get updated in real time for when the actual launch takes place. Okay, guys. <clears throat> so the aim is to launch at 6 p.m. UTC. Let's see what other information they've got in here. Of course, don't fall for any scams. Get all of your information direct from their social media uh, platforms. But yeah, basically... We see a lot of traction coming on base, right? We see a lot of talk about base. Um, it's another way to obviously, you know, get the best, uh, what is it? The, the best uh, fees on Ethereum, right? Is through base chain and Coinbase being one of the largest, if not the largest tier one exchange in the world, right? It's going to onboard millions of users over this bull run. Um, I think it makes sense that they do launch something like this on base chain. Now, base chain is not hugely renowned for gaming at the moment, you know. But if we see a lot more games launching on base chain as well, this could actually pick up as well. Again, with the whole RuneScape background, the huge community that's involved in RuneScape and so on. Okay, guys, so you can actually win some tokens as well and get rewards in, uh, on tokens by being in this community as well. So it's worth checking out. Um, the escape token again um, if you go to the website right uh, you're gonna be able to get the actual contract address 
I believe that this may be, it may or may not be the actual contract address for you snipers out there, right? But um, it takes you to the, uh, it takes you to the actual chart here. But again, it's not launched yet, right? But you can see the contract address right here, okay? Um, if that is the actual contract address, uh, address, they may post a different contract address later. Just bear that in mind, right? But again, it's going to be on base chain. So, um, you know, if you're not sure how to get on base or how to bridge over to base, many of you watching probably are aware. Um, yeah, it could be a good idea to go and prepare yourself beforehand. Um, but yeah, again, I'm not sure if that is the correct contract address. So don't quote me on that. But, you know, they do have the chart link from the website there. So, you know, the aim is for this to obviously pump uh, once it actually goes live, right? Um, you know, will people G? I mean, the thing with there being previous holders that are migrating their actual tokens, they're holders from the previous chain, right? So does it make sense for them to G? sell their tokens as soon as it launches or do they just continue to hold like they have been doing um for upside for the simple fact that this is like a brand new token on a brand new chain with brand new eyes on a brand new community potentially aping into it okay guys so yeah i just wanted to put this on your radar again um it's not launched yet so um you know, and again, it could be launched by the time you're watching this video, depending on when you see it, right? So just bear that in mind. Um, I'll leave the links in the description, relevant links in the description. So, um, you know, do what you want with that information. But um, it is very memeable as well. It is very memeable. Um, and there's all this, <laughs> there's all this uh, funny stuff um, on Twitter. They're very active on Twitter. And, um, you know, although it doesn't fit into the meme category, right? It's a, it's a gaming token, right? But, you know, it is very memeable. Uh, I remember a project called the Balkan Dwarf, right? And that went absolutely crazy. I uh, can't remember what the market cap was, but, you know, things like this actually draw and catch people's attention. So, you know, in my opinion, it could do, my opinion, it could do well. Uh, well, you just never know at the end of the day. But do your own research. Don't risk more than what you can afford to lose. That's really all I've got for you in this video. So let me know what you think in the comments. Do me a favor and subscribe to the channel. Tick the little bell for notifications. Like the video. And I'll see you in the next one.